It goes on and on, my friends. Some people started singing it, not knowing what it was. And they'll continue singing it forever just because this. Is hey, what is up, my royal fam? It's Queen Nibbe, but you can call me Debbie, and I am back with another video that is going to be about the cringe fest that is my life in reading old cringy Facebook messages that I've had with friends and others they are really bad so prepare to cringe a lot and it's gonna be painful to watch it's more painful for me to read them because I was a weird person like I was the video will do the explaining but also don't forget that it always leave my social media in the description I'm pretty active on Twitter like I've seen every single video and I also have an Instagram if you want to follow me in there and if you want to DM me or anything on either one just do it cuz like I like making friends because you can tell by the video, I didn't have many as like a young child <laughs> to your depressing life. But yeah, let's not waste time talking about how cringy my life was. And let me just show you how cringy my life was by reading these Facebook messages. And don't forget to subscribe if you like me. <laughs> okay, now this first message was in 2013 04. 04. So I think that is like, don't know, date April 4th. 2013, so I was 13, and uh, I was obsessed with Adventure Time at the time. This will make sense, like this goes with the story. And then there was this page that was looking for her admins. I didn't really understand the concept of admins, but I thought it sounded cool. So I messaged one of the leaders saying, are you looking for new admins? Because I wanted to be one. And then sh this person responded with, we are. If you're down to show tits, if not, GTFO. Tits or GTFO. And I'm like, haha, very funny. I'll do no tits, obvi. Like, I just had to include the fact that this person that's with 13 year old. Actually, I don't think they knew I was 13, but like, like I'm not a calm person about that stuff. Like, honestly, I probably would have had like a little breakdown, like block this person off of everything if it was anyone else. But I was trying to be like, yeah, I'm so cool. Like, yeah, fam, you're so funny. Like, ah, that's a funny joke. I even know I'm 13 and kind of like being a predator, but like, you know, it's funny. They were probably close to my age, maybe like a three years older or something. But I thought that was funny and I had to include it because I was just trying to be chill about it. That's something that happened. This next conversation is with someone from my old school and it happened in 2011-09-07. And uh, me and this person, I mean, we were never enemies, we were never like good friends. You'll realize a trend with all the conversations with people of me from my old school is that I had bad relationships and they usually were really cringy and those people hated me. <laughs> I like so sad, but whatever. Don't, don't be like, sad for me. My life's not bad. That was just Mississauga. Bad times. Bad memories. But I started off with, have you ever been to Candace Wonderland on Halloween Haunt? And he's like, nope. Why? I want to go though. And then I won't say her name. And then I blank said it's really scary. And I'm like, no reason. Angel face. I don't know why I put an angel face. I was trying really hard. And he's like, okay, question mark. And this is when it goes downhill. Okay. I was like, I like cupcakes. I had this weird tendency when I was younger in grade six to say random things like I love cookies or I love cupcakes and I like cookies was kind of like my catchphrase and he's like okay that's nice but I don't care at this point you think I would have uh, got it to stop texting him and that he really didn't want to talk to me but no I'm like cool and you're really nice frowny face and then he's like T.Y. Thank you. I got to go. Bye. And I'm like, whatever. Bye, shorty. Because he was short and I thought I was being hilarious. And he's like, BTW, I'm taller than you. Ha ha. Fact, he wasn't actually taller than me. I think he was trying to be funny again. But yeah, another cringe of my life. Why did I say I like cupcakes? Like, are you trying to make everyone dislike you? Like, what? Like, what? Like, what? Well, who? I think this wins of cringiest conversation of the year. Actually, no. I have a cringier one, but this is just to start off the really cringy ones. He says, hey, this was a guy at, I went to school with. I don't know what year this is because I can't find it, but I think it was 2013 when I was at my new school. He's like, hey. And I'm like, what's up? And he's like, NMU. And I'm like, JC, now I know that's a conversation like this. Don't go far. So now let's just change the subject before it gets completely, just completely stopped. Okay? Uh, every time uh, 
like I was trying to be so relatable and funny like haha like the conversation is going downhill so let's pretend it's not <sighs> and he's like okay how's life question mark he's an OG for sticking with me after that I think I would have I would have unfriended me at that point like this bitch weird but I'm like I don't know how's your mother yeah I know I'm weird but still awesome I don't know how's your mother yeah I know I'm weird but still awesome I don't know how's your mother yeah I'm weird but still awesome how's your mother he responds with lol and then I'm like cream puff is an inside joke so is triple z but they're really inappropriate I'm awesome and you're full of yourself no offense like, no time to prepare. It's not even like a different message. It suddenly came to my mind, like, I'm gonna tell this guy that he's full of himself and conceited. I stick with that now, TBH. No shade, no shade, but this guy is still the same way. And you're full of yourself, and like, why does it seem like you're angry? It's true. This is when I didn't really understand the concept of having a filter, so I decided to tell everyone all my thoughts at the right, uh, all the time. So I told him that, and. Um, that was really rude completely. I would apologize to this person. And then he's like, I DK. And I'm like, I'm so mean, but I can be meaner. Winky face. Oh, that make no sense. <laughs> Big smiley face. I don't know if that was some weird sexual undertone thing I was trying to imply, but grade six Deb is clearly a hoe. And he's like, oh, well. And then, uh, oh God, it gets worse. And I'm like, how's it going with blank? I get into pers people personal life a lot. It's fun. It's fun. And I don't think he responded after that because I don't think I'd respond to me after that. I'm like, this girl's creeping on me and uh, basically told me she likes to stalk people. Why was I like this? Now this one is uh, pretty uh, interesting. Um. I, I remember this because it was weird. I don't know if this guy was trying to get hit on me or something, but let's just let's just read it. This guy was like, hey, and I'm like, WTF. I responded literally um, six hours later. He texted me at 7.44 a.m. I replied at 3.25 p.m. And I'm like, WTF. And he replies to me four hours later, 7.35 p.m. What? And then I respond maybe 30 minutes later. Since when do you talk to me? And he's like, I don't know, lol. That's why I said, hey, you seem cool. See, this guy's a cool guy, and I had the opportunity to be friends with him, but because I acted like this, I, I don't know. I, I tried to be too cool, and the friendships didn't happen. And then I'm like, I know, I am cool. Anyway, what's up? I know, I am cool. <laughs> like, who, who do you think you are? Uh. And he's like, lol, and not much. How about you? And I'm like, bored. And then from there, it just gets kind of weird because I'm like, were you spreading rumors that blank likes blank? And I'm like, I'm not. I just asked him if he did. I'm like, and what did he say? And he's like, I think he said no. And I'm like, okay, well, gotta go. Bye. Because I didn't want to talk to this guy anymore. He's not a bad guy. I feel kind of bad. I see this guy literally on like, not regular basis, but he goes to my school. Why was I like this? I know I am cool. <laughs> no, no. Like, who are you? Who are you? Okay, so I think this last conversation is the icing on top of the cake of cringe. Me and this girl had a hate, 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 love, hate relationship. We fought a lot, and this is actually the same girl that I went to therapy with in my, a few story times ago, I talked about how I went to therapy in fifth grade, because I fought too much, and this is one of the girls that I fought with a lot, and this is the kind of conversation that we had. So prepare yourself for the cringe, because it's going to be overwhelming. I was like, yeah, um, actually, I have no idea how the conversation started off, to be completely honest, I can't even find it, and I don't think it's relevant anyways, but she was like, yeah, so, and then I'm like, hee hee, awkward silence, and then in brackets, as if, like, I was whispering this, or, like, I was implying this, I'm like, conversation stops, then someone says, lol, then completely stops. I put it in brackets as if, like, she wouldn't see it, as if it was, like, as if this was, like, being spoken. I did not understand the concept of texting. Ow, it stabbed my boobie. It stabbed my boobie. Back to reading. And there she's like, yeah. I, uh, this is too awkward, but what's your cell number? And then again in brackets, as if this, like she wasn't seeing this, as if it was like dramatic irony and I was talking to like an audience. I'm like, and if I find out you're just being a fake friend, 
things will happen. And if I find out that you're just being a fake friend, things will happen. Things will happen. Who are you? Who are you? I would have stopped talking to me. But she actually gave me her number. I think it's fake because I was going to read out the number just now, but then I thought if it's actually a real number and somebody calls them, they're going to be like, why are you calling me? But I'm just going to say there's a lot of eights, a lot of nines, and a lot of sevens, and one six, and to me that sounds like a fake number, but, and I'm like, no fakes, and she's like, no fakes, and she's like, I'm in blank, remember, because she lived in a city that's outside of the city that I was in, so I guess she's trying to prove like it's a different area code because it's a different area, but... Yeah, I don't know what to say about that. These conversations, honestly, cringe. Cringe, cringe, that's all I say, it's cringe. But yeah, that is all I have for you guys in today's episode of Cringe City, where I read my cringy Facebook messages from my childhood. I think you understand what kind of person I am now. If you wanna unsubscribe because you realize I am too cringy, feel free to do that. I would unsubscribe to me too if I knew the person I used to be, but don't worry, I'm less cringy now. <laughs> Not really, but yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I thought it'd be fun for you guys to see like my old Facebook conversations because re me reading them by myself is amusing and I thought it'd be amusing for me to share with my royal fam. But you know, it is what it is. I, I need to uh, deal with my cringiness, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep smiling, shining, and remember you don't need a crown to be royalty. Bye.